The inland northwest has a lot of places to enjoy the outdoors like rivers and lakes. But if you're heading to the Little Spokane River this weekend, you may have to change your plans depending on what you're doing. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. Kayaks, canoes, and rowboats are allowed on the river this year. Washington State Parks has banned one popular water sport. New on Nightside, Caitlin Knapp explains what is not allowed and why. Sunshine, water, a perfect recipe for a fun holiday weekend. We want people to come here and have a, um, a great respect for the natural area here. The Little Spokane River is a hot spot for people, though Diana DePew with Washington State Park says it's not meant for recreation. We've just seen um, so much increased use and illegal use of the Little Spokane that we need to take some steps to continue to conserve this very special area which is one reason why stand-up paddle boards are banned from the river. We're trying to steward the river for um, the flora and fauna, and swimming, obviously, putting people in the river, it disturbs the sediment on the bottom. This area has been under conservation since 1987, and DePew says it has a unique ecosystem that they don't want disturbed. And paddle boards have a tendency to bring people closer to the water. They're easier for them to get in and out of the water. Tubes, other inflatable rafts, and swimming isn't allowed either. We want to have the smallest footprint as possible on this uh, river. Now, just because you can't paddle board on the Little Spokane River anymore doesn't mean there aren't other great places in Spokane, like here at Riverside State Park, specifically Police Flats. It's only about 20 minutes away from the St. George put in. But we really want to educate people. We want to talk to them. We want to um, tell them why we're doing this and why we're trying to protect this river. If you want to get on the river but don't have a kayak, don't worry. The City of Spokane Parks and Rec will start kayak rentals this year here at the St. George's Put-In. And one last thing, if you are going to be on the water this weekend, don't forget your life jacket. Reporting in Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Nightside.